hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel my name is Kayla and I'm pregnant <laughs> channel because we moved back in with my mom and it's just really hard making videos at home honestly because it's weird talking to a camera <laughs> so I haven't made any videos but I really really wanted to document like my pregnancy and I'm not doing a good job so far I'm obviously really late doing this video because I wanted to do a I wanted to actually do like every couple weeks like bump updates but then that didn't happen at all so now I'm like okay I need to just do maybe just my first trimester like video and get that out there and then now I'm like 17 weeks pregnant and I mean I'm it's still okay, but I wanted to get my first trimester video like right after the first trimester ended. So, this is what <laughs> this video is about. It's about my first trimester. Sorry for me looking like this. Um, it's really cold and today is just like a chill day. And I've tried to record this video multiple times. <laughs> and get ready and do everything and then I just don't feel good so then I'm like yeah I'm not gonna record when I'm like feeling nauseous or I have like a crazy headache so this is this is me <laughs> this is me right now um, I'm just comfy and having a relaxing day now into what you're here for first trimester I'm excited to be done with my first trimester for sure but um i'm not gonna talk about second trimester because i'm planning on making a second trimester video but let me tell you start in the second trimester wasn't wasn't great i guess we'll start when i took my pregnancy test so i took my pregnancy test and if you don't know, you don't follow me on social media, we've had a miscarriage um, before. And I think it was two months after our miscarriage, we got this positive pregnancy test. So we were very happy. And week four, so I took a pregnancy test really early. And I think around like three weeks, which is like, it's super, super early. And um, it was positive. I usually, I have been getting, every time I've taken a type pregnancy test, it's been positive at like nine to 10 DPO. And if you don't know what DPO is, it's days past ovulation. So I do track my ovulation. And so that's how I know my DPO. But, um, so week four, I just felt off. I just felt like something was different. But I knew I was pregnant then, <laughs> so I just felt off. So I knew something was going on and I was really happy. And then week five, um, for some reason I was just tired and I noticed I was out of breath. That's what I wrote down here. So I was tired and out of breath. And if you're wondering what I'm looking at, it's my phone. Um, week six, oh, that's when we had to take my dog Rudy in because he, oh, he had an allergic reaction in his ears. I cleaned his ears and he had an allergic reaction to whatever was in his ear cleaning, but he has allergies to a lot of things, so it didn't really surprise me, but... He's never flared up like that. So his ears got really red and puffy. And um, 
So that night, he was shaking his head like crazy and we just, I just felt so bad. So we took him to the emergency. It was like, emergency vet, it was like at, um, It was at, it was late. I don't remember honestly what time it was at, but it was late. Oh, I think it was like midnight or one. Because right as week six hit, I got nauseous. I was sitting in that waiting room for, I think we were there for like four to five. No, actually I think we were there for like six hours and waiting there while feeling nauseous for the first time was just not not fun i was sitting there rocking back and forth i was like closing my eyes and then we went to my car and we fell asleep because i just needed to get it off my mind and then i woke up still nauseous it was just a really bad time so thanks bub he's the one snoring in the background if you can hear him <laughs> i started feeling nauseous and I was nauseous for the next, I think like a week, a week or two. And um, it's just not fun. So week seven, still nauseous. Um, I wrote down on and off, so it was probably like every other day or so. Week eight, super bloated. I wrote that down to make sure, in all caps, super bloated. So that was great. Um, oh yeah, week eight. So I went in a little early to um, see our baby because we've had a miscarriage. So we went in at week eight, which I don't know about your doctor or your OB, um, but our, mine, um, usually doesn't allow us to come in until like, 10 or 11 weeks pregnant and they took me at eight weeks so because i was really nervous i just wanted to see my little baby real bad um so we saw a baby and everything looks great and heartbeat was 170 so a oh, week nine. Oh yeah week nine was pretty huge i think nick was leaving if you don't know who nick is he's my fiance sorry if i didn't um, catch you up on that earlier he coaches baseball so he was leaving out of town and right before he left I'm pretty sure I have like a little at home Doppler and I wrote down we heard the first heartbeat at home and we were just so happy and it was like great because he was leaving and we got to hear the heartbeat at home and it was just really good I was like it like literally like once I don't know, once you've had a miscarriage and you, you're at home and you get to like, just hear the heartbeat whenever you would like, just to, you know, make yourself a little more comfortable. And it's just a really good feeling. It's like, you can breathe a little bit. Definitely made our weekend, because he was leaving like on for a Thursday or a Friday. So that definitely was amazing. Week 10 was pretty huge <laughs> um wasn't i said that i haven't felt nauseous so that's good and um we took the blood dna test for the gender and that like we couldn't wait i know now you can do like eight weeks and i knew that but i was still worried that it wasn't going to give us a good result so we waited for 10 till 10 weeks to take the DNA test. So um, we did that and we did the one day, 24 hours, something like that uh, results. And so we were sitting here, I think I have a video of us do it. So I'll play the video as I'm talking. And um, we were sitting here, like literally right here, looking at our computer and um, we got the email and we popped it up and we we're like, and it said, boy, and we were so excited and so like in shock, I think. Like, I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe that I'm pregnant, I think. And that, so 
that early it's saying that it's a boy and I was just like I just couldn't believe it I don't know if it was I don't know and I still can't believe I'm pregnant like I'm still like kind of like hmm, am I but I am and I'm like I just it just doesn't really like I don't know it hasn't clicked even though like now I'm 17 weeks we've already like um, did our gender reveal for our family and name reveal and everything and it's still like it's kind of clicking like the more we get close and just the more we like say his name and talk about him and everything but it's just still so crazy so we were really excited and Nick for sure thought it was going to be a girl so he w he even was calling him her and she and everything before we even knew the gender so um if our baby boy is watching this your dad thought you were a girl i thought you were a boy the entire time so just gonna put that out there so week 11 um still not nauseous and then i wrote down got my hunger back so i'm guessing i'm sorry like this is just everywhere but i'm guessing the last couple weeks i wasn't hungry and probably because i was really nauseous and bloated and just all of that was just not a good week 12. okay so we're almost at the end of first trimester which is crazy but Honestly, my first trimester was pretty, it was pretty good. Like some women, honestly, like some women are nauseous and throwing up like, like every day. And I can't say that at all. I, it was just kind of here and there. I had really good days and I had really bad days. And that was just my first trimester. But anyways, um, week 12 headaches so the headaches started and they're the headaches that like don't really start slow they just kind of come out of nowhere and hit really hard and they would ruin my entire day and i would take tylenol and do anything my doctor would tell me and nothing would work and i just would want to turn off all the lights and go to bed and try to sleep and then even when i woke up the headache was still there so it was just it was just I don't even know like how how I got rid of the headaches or helped the headaches um, I just kind of had to deal with them so that I remember was horrible and I still I still get headaches that just show up and are here for at least 24 hours and I'm drinking water and I'm doing everything but they just there's nothing I do about them they just show up and they're just horrible and I just have to deal with them so week 13 um, the last week of the first trimester which is crazy when it was when I was like at week 13 I was like this is like my last week of my first trimester like that's crazy I Honestly, since it took us about a year and a half to get pregnant to two years, I honestly, like, I'm still in shock that, like, I'm in my second trimester. It's just crazy. It really is really just crazy. I know I've said that a hundred times, but it really is crazy. <laughs> um, let's see. I wrote down some headaches and was nauseous and my back oh my gosh so I've had a bad ish back before pregnancy so I kind of felt like my back was just going to be in so much pain for this whole pregnancy and I'm right um, it hasn't been great at all um, I have good days and I have bad days um, the bad days usually happen when I'm working all day or I'm I'm just using it a little too much I sit and I use a hot like um, hot pad whatever you call those things 
and I pretty much ice my back like almost every day just because I'm terrified because at one point after work and I woke up the next morning I couldn't even bend over to like lift the toilet seat like it was painful to do that and I just don't need that because I need to uh, be able to work and do things so I try my hardest to take breaks during work when I'm like mopping and stuff so I don't work my back too much and or I give it breaks so I try but my back still uh, it's just really bad and there's nothing I can do about it so I'm excited for you know the rest of my pregnancy because it's only gonna get worse because the baby's getting bigger and that's pretty much it so not that bad um, for first trimester to me in those weeks when all those things were happening it was the end of the world <laughs> and those headaches and being nauseous and everything was just I don't know maybe I should put the gender reveal in here I think I should put the gender reveal in here okay so you heard and saw that we found out through a blood test that we were having a boy at week 10 and um, at week 14 we did an ultrasound and we found out and confirmed it was a boy so um, I don't have any footage of us like confirming or anything like that but I do have a little clips clips here and there of our gender reveal so I'll put them in while I'm explaining because um, I didn't really like film film I just wanted to get like video and pictures of our gender reveals so today's Monday or today's Tuesday so our gender reveal was Saturday which was November 24th and um, it was so much fun Decorating and everything is stressful. Um, I always find decorating stressful just because it's hard to put what I have envisioned into like reality and real and everything. Especially when everyone has their own ideas and throwing it everywhere. It was fun. Um, how we did the reveal, we popped those cannons, those, um, they're not smoke, it's like powder cannons and we bought 10 of them and we ended up using only six so Nick had one I had one um, uh, Nick's mom had one Nick's dad and then my stepdad had one and my mom had one but she gave hers to my little brother to pop because she was scared that she wasn't gonna be able to pop it because sometimes I see that they're hard to pop but these were pretty these were pretty well like easy to pop and um, so we popped them and the blue popped out and everyone went crazy because everyone thought we were having a girl um, because my family we don't have a lot of girls so it was like it shocked everyone so I guess we did a good job of hiding the secret because <laughs> we've known for so long <laughs> and um but yeah so that was our gender reveal it was really fun i'm so happy everyone knows because it's so hard not to say he and him when you're talking about your baby and you already know the gender and you can't say it and so you gotta like slowly talk and make sure you don't say him <laughs> so that was hard but we did it because no one knew. Everyone thought it was a girl again. And um, we also did a name reveal. So we played a little game and honestly, I didn't want to reveal a name just because it was like our little secret and we've had this name for like, I don't know, like two years, a year and a half to two years. So um, Nick thought of an idea to 
buy those like refrigerator letters and then we grab like we have the name like in the letters and then we also add extra letters and we put people in groups and then they had to um, figure out the name and so that came out really well and it took a while <laughs> for everyone to figure out the name but we did have a group or two figure out the name and his name is Gatlin Obi Jewel and I'm so in love with the name and I'm just so happy he has a name and it's just it's crazy and I'm so excited we are so excited to meet him and I'm gonna get emotional so let's not um, get too uh, too deep into that <laughs> but um so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. And if you guys have any video ideas, I would love to document everything and try to do my best to post as many videos as I can. Um, if you guys want me to do like, not weekly, but I feel like maybe every four weeks an update, then I would, wouldn't mind doing that. Um, I just don't want to do weekly because I feel like, again, like I don't have a lot of stuff that happens weekly. So it would be a video that is two seconds long. So um, that is it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're new here, you can subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Till I get up, time is barely on our side